Sendai, capital of Miyagi Prefecture, and the premier city of northeastern Japan. With a population of more than a million, it has long been the commercial and cultural center for the area. The man who laid the foundations for this prosperity still looks down on the city. His name? Date Masamune. This samurai from four centuries ago is honored and adored by the people of Sendai. You'll even find his name here, the standard Japanese dictionary. Date is widely used as a noun and adjective. It means having a sense of flair or style, the kind that draws attention. A sense of verve, of sophistication. If your taste runs to flamboyance, people may call you date mono, literally, a person with date style. Perhaps no other samurai has put this kind of stamp on the Japanese language. But how did it come about? We'll uncover this and much more as we learn from his wit and wisdom. In the 16th century, the nations of Europe take to the seas. In East Asia, Japan is fractured into dozens of contending clans. Samurai leaders are caught up in an unending struggle for local dominance. They excel in the arts of war, but some are also far-seeing visionaries their wisdom will lay the groundwork for the long peace under the Tokugawa shoguns and a legacy for modern Japan. Who were these men of vision? Samurai wisdom. Dante Masamune was born in 1567 into one of the ruling clans of Oshu. Oshu is about 600 kilometers east of Kyoto, the ancient capital. Correspondents took more than two weeks to arrive. When Date was born, Oda Nobunaga was in his mid-30s, extending his power in the Kyoto area and chasing a dream of unifying Japan. Conditions in Oshu were unsettled, with multiple small domains vying for supremacy. Masamune was the son of Teramune, the head of the Date clan. But he suffered an unexpected misfortune as a child. contemporary portrait of Masamune. Look closely and you'll notice that one of his eyes is closed. A childhood case of smallpox cost the future daimyo the sight in his right eye. For a general on the battlefield, having one eye is a great disadvantage. Some of the Date clan's vassals whispered that Masamune was unfit to lead. His mother doted on Masamune's younger brother and supported him as the future leader. Because of his disability, 
Mosamune was a shy, retiring child. His father, Terumune, concerned, asked the Zen priest, Kosai Soitsu, to act as Masamune's tutor. Soitsu introduced the boy to the wisdom of the Chinese classics. Owada Tetsuo has studied this period for half a century. He cites one person who had a particular influence on Masamune. Li Qiong was a famous Chinese military commander born in the 9th century. Though blind in one eye, he led an army clad in black armor and was feared as the one-eyed dragon. Hearing about the outstanding achievements of a man facing the same challenge wrought a profound change in Masamune. This armor was used by Date Masamune. The coating of black lacquer may well be a nod to Li Qiong. Under Soitsu's guidance, Masamune grew into a strong young samurai. So much so that Terumune decided to step down as leader of the clan when his son was only 18. But the young man's fitness as a military commander was soon to be tested. Seeking to unify Oshu, Masamune launched a campaign against the surrounding clans. One of the enemy generals took Terumune hostage, planning to take him back to his own domain. With his father in enemy hands, Masamune's ability to prosecute his campaign would be greatly compromised. So Masamune did not hesitate. He opened fire, killing his father and those who held him captive. Well, so like Kashin Tachi no Naka ni Masamune no ma Shido Likirio to Yuka, Tochi no Ryok to Yuka, so it tamono ni Yaya Kenen atte, so you Kuki mo tabu Masamune no Togoroni mo ma Haiti Kita, so it tamono is so through Tameniwa, Makode, Maomoikita, Tsmari. Three years later, at 23, Masamune is a military commander with the largest territory in Oshu. But a powerful enemy threatens his success. Toyotomi Hideyoshi is past 50 and a battle tested warlord. He controls the western half of Japan. His next objective is the Hojo clan, which controls the Kanto region, and then the Date domain, which lies to the north. Hideyoshi first sends a series of warnings to Masamune, threatening him if he fails to capitulate. But Masamune ignores him. He has already allied himself with the Hojo. Hideyoshi 
若気の至りっていうのもあったでしょうけどもね。In Hideyoshi's campaign against the Hojo, he marches east with a force of more than 200,000 warriors. Hideyoshi sends an ultimatum to Masamune. Join me against the Hojo, or prepare for destruction. Masamune is outnumbered ten to one. Standing against the Toyotomi forces would be suicide. After careful deliberation, he decides to seek out Hideyoshi directly. But Hideyoshi's attack on the Hojo is already underway. Masamune's deadline has passed. If Hideyoshi refuses to accept this delay, Masamune may not survive their meeting. So Masamune does something unexpected. He meets Hideyoshi dressed in the white garments of one who is about to be executed. 確かにね、死に装束で現れるということ自身は、まあ、自分なりに死を覚悟しているという意味なんだけれども同時にそれはですね、まあ、秀吉に対するアピールですね。マスムネ puts his life in Hideyoshi's hands. Hideyoshi places his staff alongside Masamune's neck and says, Count yourself fortunate that you didn't arrive later. Masamune's gamble is successful. He returns to Oshu to fight another day. I think it's probably a good thing that I can do. And if I can do it, I can do it with Hideyoshi. Oh, this guy is a little different. It's interesting. I'm going to kill him. So I think it's a good thing that I can do it with Hideyoshi. So I think it's a good thing that I can do it with Hideyoshi. Masamune's performance doesn't end there. He becomes a member of Hideyoshi's government. At the age of 26, he marches to Kyoto with 3,000 soldiers to join Hideyoshi's invasion of the Korean Peninsula. Tokugawa Ieyasu and other powerful feudal lords are there too. But Date's participation is a surprise. This diorama depicts the departure of Date's forces. Masamune's horses were decorated with leopard, tiger, and bear skins, even peacock tails. The cavalry was armed with swords, decorated with gold. In place of their customary dress, the foot soldiers were also decorated. They wore gold-colored pointed hats a meter high. Their armor was covered with black lacquer, with vermilion lacquered sheaths for their short swords. Sato Norikazu is a Date Masamune scholar. He believes that Masamune's reputation derives from this spectacle. This Japanese Portuguese dictionary was compiled in the early 17th century by missionaries in Japan. It does indeed have an entry for date, meaning to show something off. Masamune's dazzling display drew Hideyoshi's attention and benefited his clan. Masamune's name spread far and wide 
as a synonym for flamboyance. Something else contributed to the prosperity of the Dante domain. Masamune's passion for cuisine. He checked the morning and evening menus personally. He sometimes did the cooking himself. It was rare for a military commander to be in the kitchen. We recreated an actual breakfast from that era. Grilled arc clams from Domain Waters. Game bird is steamed, then cooked over high heat. The crisp skin is fragrant. Tofu and vegetables are added and finished with broth. Masamune worked hard to encourage rice production. Important guests were served the finest dishes the domain could offer. Here is an episode from Masamune's later years. ね、どうぞ召し上がってください。そういうことまでしてるんですよね。寮内で採れたま、代表的なマサムネ didn't send the usual gift of gold or silver. He chose a simple delicacy made with his own hands. He knew how to make an indelible impression. Masamune himself was Date. Visit Sendai today and you can experience the same cuisine that Masamune loved. A generous portion of salmon and roe served over rice. Masamune valued miso so highly that he built a factory to produce it. Now and in Masamune's day, miso was highly prized for its exquisite saltiness and excellent keeping properties on the march. Masamune left these words. He who cannot cook is a man of poor heart. Put heart and soul into a single dish, and it will be a supreme feast. Fifteen ninety eight. Toyotomi Hideyoshi dies. Tokugawa Ieyasu steps into his shoes. Five years later, at sixty two, he will establish the Tokugawa shogunate. Masumune, however, is thirty seven. He joins forces with Ieyasu and becomes lord of the Sendai domain. He builds a castle without a keep demonstrating that he has no intention of defying the shogunate. But a decade later, Masamune builds something more impressive than any castle. A 55-meter Western-style sailing vessel that can carry 200 people. Masamune intends to use the ship in a bold venture to enrich his clan. His plan? To trade with foreign nations. 
but the shogunate is keeping a close eye on Japan's daimyos. Any signs of rebellion are suppressed. Is foreign trade even feasible? Hirakawa Arata is an expert on Masamune's foreign policy. He believes Masamune was engaged in some horse trading with Ieyasu. え、Masamune takes advantage of Ieyasu's cold attitude toward Christians. When news reached him that the Spanish envoy's ship was no longer seaworthy, he offers to step in and build a new one to carry them home. October 1613. The envoys sail away from Japan in their new vessel, bound for Mexico, Spain, and beyond that, Rome. They are accompanied by Masamune's personal envoy, Hasekura Tsunenaga. Hasekura is tasked with conducting trade negotiations on Masamune's behalf. ま、大変あの Masamune's goal is to negotiate with the King of Spain and even the Pope to establish trade links with the West. After more than a year's journey, Hasekura arrives in Madrid in December 1614, where he is granted an audience with the King. Ten months later, he arrives in Rome for an audience with the Pope. Hasekura gives him a letter from Masamune that begins, Dante Masamune, King of Oshu, encourages the propagation of Christianity in our land and allows free trade with Spain. But news has also reached Spain concerning the shogunate's ban on Christianity and the suppression of believers. The King of Spain, increasingly distrustful of Japan, turns Hasekura away. The negotiations end just short of agreement between the two sides. あの、in 1636, Masamune dies at the age of 70. His mausoleum is built posthumously in accordance with his will. The magnificent carvings that cover the walls are the work of Kyoto craftsmen. The 
the Sendai domain absorbed the era's most advanced artistic techniques. Twenty monuments stand alongside the mausoleum, erected to the memory of vassals who died serving him. Masamune's wish to ensure Sendai's prosperity has been passed down to today. Each summer, the city is blanketed with decorations for the Star Festival, or Tanabata. Masamune brought the festival to Sendai after seeing the gorgeous festivities in Edo, now Tokyo. In his final years, Masamune worked to expand the rice harvest. His success contributed greatly to his domain's prosperity. Modern Miyagi Prefecture is still one of Japan's leading rice producing regions. Masamune overcame daunting challenges to build Oshu into one of the Tokugawa era's greatest domains. Masamune navigated skillfully through years of strife with flamboyant displays and daring maneuvers. But his greatness went beyond that. Date Masamune is still Date to this day. Through his devotion to his subject's prosperity and his contributions to food, commerce, and culture, he has become a symbol of something we can all aspire to. During the Sengoku period, warlords fought to gain total supremacy and unify Japan. However, they were also passionate about acquiring the utensils used in the tea ceremony. One small tea caddy would pass from the hands of one ruler to the next. Follow the strange fate of this seemingly humble object and uncover why warlords were so obsessed with such rare tea utensils. <laughs> 